you know, I mean, Mr. Davis, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Davis. But I get to Thomas Davis. Is his first name. Yes. Uh, Davis, yes, 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 yes. So we honor both of you guys in this broadcast tonight. Amen. Well, you already know you're a powerhouse and you're a giant in the spirit. So what I'm going to do for you is... Here's one of my props. <laughs> Look at this. I got on wraps. <laughs> oh, wow. So that, you must be the one I put these wraps on for. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, my God. I'm not playing. If I didn't know you were going to have a sword, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. And so my prop tonight is a sword. And this ain't no regular sword. This is a uh, katana. Wow. And this is a sword that are used in martial arts. You find this sword normally in those that are skilled in martial arts and weaponry. You find this with ninjas or samurais, but mainly with ninjas. They have a sharp blade, um, and it's a sharp bladed sword. And you can cut and you can slice for minimum effort uh, if you're skilled and you know how to utilize it. And so the Spirit of God is saying that, watch this, that though you're powerful, in him, he is enhancing your skill and he is changing your weaponry. And the weaponry in which he is changing and the skill in which he's giving you is going to require less effort because you have more skill. So where you were chopping things down with an axe, he's exchanged your axe for a sword. And what happens is you no longer have to be that thing. Where before you had more of a beating motion, where you had to constantly yeah, beat to get through. Well, now because of the sharpness of the blade and the less of the effort, you're going to begin to cut through things very quickly and swiftly. The Bible says, well, I said, the word of God is quick and it's powerful and it's sharper than any two-edged sword. So the Lord is saying, well, I said, I'm giving you, well, I said, the sword of the spirit in another way in which well, I said, I'm giving you a sharpness. Or I said, I'm giving you a skill to be able to weld my word, watch this, without even breaking a sweat. In other words, you're going to be able to walk in an unshouting anointing. Yeah. In other words, this unshouting anointing means that you're going to now be able to minister from a place of skill in Holy Ghost to where you're mm -hmm. not going to have to raise mm -hmm. your voice in the spirit. You're not even going to perspire, i.e. sweat. You're going to be able to not only minister sweatless victory, but you're going to operate in a sweatless anointing. Meaning that you're going to be able to just speak the word and it's done, says the Lord. Watch it. So the skill in which God is speaking in is that you're going to be able to draw the word, slice, and then recover. Yes, yes Lord. Catch that? Yeah. Draw, slice, uh. and recover. Yes. See that? Yeah. Do that again. Draw, slice, and recover. Yes. And the people that you minister to gonna have to be paying very quick attention because the word that was coming out of your mouth is a quick word. You already got the powerful part. So now what you're getting is quick. That's it. Boom. Boom. Catch that? Yeah. And so with that being said, God has shifted your sword. He has shifted your blade. And because of that, he has shifted your aid. A-I-D-E. Aid. Meaning that now you have angelic aid because God has given you a new sword. Amen. And, yes. and when you came on, um, Ambassador Chantrell, I kept seeing your, your actual, I'm going to the top orange dress, and I have been like magnified with your top and your dress and the colors, which are gold and which are blue. So when Apostle pulled out the sword, you know, when you come in with steel, you're coming with new authority. And I also kept hearing Deborah. Um, I kept hearing um, that I kid you not, I kept hearing 
camera in the corner, and it was literally like, um, um, you can go to war, but you're not going to actually have to go to war. You are just going to bring the sound and the voice and the and the, 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 the warfare and the strategic strategy, excuse me, you're going to bring the strategy of what's going to be what's going to be needed to win the war. So with the new authority and the new sharpness that he's giving you, with the blue he's giving you new authority in your voice, he is giving you new authority in your speaking, he's going to be downloading even more divine strategies that is going to be released to the kingdom, um, excuse me, through from the kingdom to his people, to his end time army. So even the more now, he is calling your voice as Deborah, that you're going to be able to go into camps, into the armies and the different types of different, um, a call to their different perspective places. And you're going to be able to release the divine strategies in order for them to conquer and for them to be able to dominate the land for which the Lord has called them to dominate and conquer and to possess that from the enemy and so he's going to be refining you even the more and I see another level with gold he's going to be dripping you with gold so you have a oh and I literally see the garden is literally like royalty and it's dripping with different badges of honor and in that those are where you have climbed and where you have elevated and so I hear new promotion as well so I'm not I'm not known necessarily what area, but I'm hearing new promotion because I continue to see him pinning new um, badges and, and new garlands and new medals, amen, across your shoulders, amen. So in this new, you are being elevated as Deborah even the more. Know that he's going to be um, downloading even the more and bringing new transparency, amen, to the new promotion he has given. Yeah, the Lord says. And the Lord says the synergy that we have, the synergy that you have with Ram and that Ram have with you is that we are ministries that are ahead of our time. And the Lord says, let me speak to you in that place to where you don't look at numbers. You know, you're not concerned about that. You're well more mature than that. But at the same time, there are times to where the certain videos or certain things that you minister and certain things that you do you go you know it doesn't it's not really viewed as you have thought it would have viewed or caught on as it thought it would have been caught on you are an end time voice and even though we're in the end time you're still ahead of your time and we're ahead of our time same thing so these are people that are advanced people synchronized with the spirit of god that can catch the revelation and can catch what's coming out of our ministries. And so a lot of times people can can, can connect to you and watch you and then they, they kind of get distracted and they, they kind of fall off because you're speaking in different realms. Um, and with that being said, um, you know, they can catch a little bit, but honey, you don't slay, you take some, you don't slay no Similac at all. Ain't no Similac, ain't no infamil with milk, ain't no goat's milk, ain't no let of that. Um, people got to have, what I hear the Lord say, strong bellies to be around. Um, they got to have strong bellies. Um, so with that being said, um, the Lord says he wants to encourage you in that because the ranking is not about how many people receive you. It's about how obedient you are to continue to keep doing what you're doing, even if it's only one person that watch your video. <laughs> And the Lord says, because in that I was trying your faithfulness, even in that, can you still make videos when you only get a few people watching them? The Lord says, why is it, but I've been, why is it preparing you? Because promotion don't come by how they watch a video. Promotion come by obedience to continue to still do it in the spirit of excellence, even if you have a few people watching. So the Lord says, you have passed that test. And the reason why the gold seems to be on your shoulders, because the government shall be on his shoulders and tonight you have just received a new dimension of the kingdom on your shoulders and most military soldiers where they're ranking on their shoulders so i salute you tonight one general to another but Lord says i'm bringing you up into general status to where you don't fight you strategize and, said, and for that being said that's why you have a new sword it's a general sword and from that point on it's the sword of the lord and you will have to perspire you will have to sweat you to strategize and release says the lord and with that being said it shall be well with you and your ministry and everything that you do, it shall be well with you, says the Spirit. I receive, I receive, glory to God. I, 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 I'm going to catch up with y'all.
going on, y'all hear those because I don't want to take y'all time tonight to put people waiting. But trust and believe, y'all gonna hear from me, man. Oh, God. Oh, ah, uh, there's so much that just in the last week has been happening, and I felt the change I could not explain. I said it's something, it's, it's just different. I know why this person is doing that. I see. I, I'm gonna have to tell y'all some stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna see that word in this morning. <laughs> but he did. I, I didn't think you would. I just heard a sword. And I said, what? Who can go just have swords laying by the house? There you go. There you go. Draw, slice, recover quickly. Yes. You have no need to fight in this battle. Many people have been jealous of your ministry and have been jealous of you and what God does in you and through you. But God, a general don't fight with soldiers. General fight with other generals, if anything. So here's the thing. You went to another level. You went to another not on of your effectiveness for people, your effectiveness for God. God. Faithfulness is what promotes people in God. Not faithfulness to people, faithfulness to God. Sometimes we miss our promotion because we think we got to be faithful to people to get promoted. No, you be faithful to God to get promoted. Because one thing is faithfulness is measured on is not how successful your videos are or whatever. Faithfulness is when ain't nobody come on your videos, you still doing. <laughs> when don't nobody pay attention to it, you know God gave you a word and you release that word and only got two views. <laughs> Yeah, and, and God tell you to go write the video and go do a whole new rainbow of video and that one and that one got three of you. <laughs> and you like, God, you didn't woke me up last night, didn't let me sleep, let me up early in the morning to release this rainbow revelation for two views. It's not that. It doesn't matter. It matters, but it don't. And the thing about it is, that's when God is trying your faithfulness. Can you still, and here's the thing, honey, you ain't cut no shortcuts. You still did the editing. Yeah. You still did the production. You didn't see, you just don't do. See, I do raw videos. I come on to the videos and go off. I don't have no intro. I don't have no outro. I don't have no editing. I don't have no graphics. You do that. And you put the excellence in it that God has given you to put in it. And you do that while it's just even in spite of. So, watch this. The faithfulness ain't the people. The faithfulness is in God. And the Lord wanted to give you, you know, you can get a, a fresh air or a fresh wind in the middle of a marathon or yeah. in the marathon to give you water. The Lord wanted me to tell you in the middle of your destiny and your fulfillment. Sometimes people want to get to the end and hear well done. God would have given me to give you a well done in the middle. So I say to you tonight, Ambassador Chantrell Davis, well done. And that is coming from the Spirit of God. Well done. Sometimes you have to get that in the middle. And you needed that in the middle. That was for you. Because after we minister to everybody, who ministers to us? And you came on this line tonight to get ministered to. Well done. And God is honored by your character. There was a couple of fights you could have got into, but you chose not to, and you stood on your character, and you passed the test, and God says to you, daughter, well done. So that's how you got a new sword, because meekness is power under control. When you can cut somebody in but you decide to forgive them and be meek, God can trust you with a new sword because you just won't weld it just to be welded. You will pull it out when he tell you. So congratulations, you've been promoted by the king. And he says to you, well done in the middle of your process. So now continue to walk in the middle of your purpose. So continue to walk the rest of the way. Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. God knows your name. Heaven knows your name. And angels know your name. So I release angels of abundance to assist you in the rest of your endeavors because you have been faithful. You have done things for people and people said it was going to pay y'all and didn't pay y'all. 
y'all did things and money didn't come in the way they were supposed to. You did production for people and people didn't give you what they said they was going to give you and cheated y'all out of money. Stuff didn't work right. Well done and you stayed in character and you kept producing and you kept doing what God has told you to do. And God says tonight, everything shifts tonight for you and your family. Tonight. Says the Spirit of the living God. Amen. And I even say that not just for you, but even your loved ones. I don't know too much about you, but I think you've got a son. Yes. Even if you're shifting for your son right now. Thank you for that word. You have no idea how much you blessed me and how much you affirmed. Because <laughs> God knows I would never even get out of order and get their vision out. I don't know if you saw it, I shared it where I shook the general. I said, I would never, I'm thinking I would never do that. I mean, who am I? I was rebuking the general. And he showed me this person. Um, he was in white, but his white wasn't clean afterwards. But, uh, yeah, you, you hit, I, I can't even get to tell you. <laughs> I can't even get to tell you, but I thank you and I'll receive it. That I will proceed because I don't know anything else. We'll talk. We'll talk. I know, I know, I know. We'll talk. Amen. And I just want to be obedient and say that the Lord said you are still one of his secret millionaires and to not give up on the patent. Um, I don't know what that is. You know, uh-huh. you know what that is. So. Yeah, I have at least three to five inventions and I'm like, Lord, I got them ready. I don't know what to do. Yeah, so. 